Hey guys, it's your girl Just Be Nashe. How's everybody doing? I pray all is well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a tote bag. This is the Russell tote. This is the small size. It is in pebbled leather and I didn't realize that I would have enjoyed wearing this bag so much. The only reason I slipped out of her is because I've been bag shopping. Shh. You didn't hear me? I've been handbag shopping. Shh. Although I enjoyed thoroughly wearing this beautiful tote bag. It's time to move on for a little bit. Put her down or him down. Is it a her or him? I'm not sure. Sometimes I give my bags genders. It's time to give him a nice wipe down and give him a rest. Put him away or put him up in the closet. Hey, say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> All right, scram, Sam. Hello, Moon. Okay, goodbye. The Russell when I never, I never cared about the Russell tote. Um, so then when I went on to I Love Dooney, and I saw the pebbled Russell. Okay, so I was educated because I didn't know they made it in pebble, um, and it was very affordable. I picked this color which on the website I actually think it looks a little different because when I got it in real life I was like not really really excited about the color um, it's kind of like a dull type of blue color is azure and I hope I'm saying that right this is a big small <laughs> now the Russells are sizable purses this is a big small Everything fits in this. This is a perfect everyday tote. About 12 inches wide. It's just under 10 inches long. And it is six and a half inches deep. Please fact check that. Eight and a half inch strap drop. Very comfortable on the arm. There is a lovely outside pocket. Two inside pockets on one wall. A slip pocket and a zipper pocket on the other wall. And these are some nice sized pockets. Doesn't pass the elbow test, but with a little help, you can get it over that elbow and it's a very nice, comfortable fit. It has magnetic closures at the top. Very strong magnetic closures. There's three of them. So you get your privacy. Has feet on the bottom. And like I said, I have no complaints. It comes in a variety of colors. All my things fit in there. There was so much more room for additional items. Just a really nice tote. And I had gotten a little nervous about Dooney Pebble Leather because of an experience I had with a previous bag where the Pebble Leather just started to wear like, oh, so quickly. It was just wearing out on the edges so I kind of tried to stay away from pebble leather for a little while but at the price point that I got this and just wanted to see what the Russell was all about I gave it a shot and I am happy to say that I did not have that problem with my corners and I've worn this like I said it's been, I was wearing this for like a couple weeks straight like at least two weeks straight and I was not babying this bag whatsoever it holds its structure well. However, after a while though, it will soften. Like I said, for me it's been a couple weeks, but it will soften and it will have a little slouch. 
which I did not mind at all actually I thought it was cute when it did come one side right like in the back right here was a little bit more pebbled than the overall bag however I'm based off the way it was wrapped and the way it was the packaging and the stuffing it was a new bag it's just some bags some leathers are more pebbled than others and it's really about personal preference for me it wasn't a it wasn't a big deal I, I'm sure you can dress it up by adding some things onto it and making it a little bit more girly or <laughs> just giving it a little bit more pizzazz or just a little bit more character with charms and that sort of thing but for me it was just a nice on the go keep it moving bags and I got some ink on this one anyways I got some ink right here So I just got a baby wipe and I'm just going to try to get this little ink out. It's breaking my heart y'all. It's not coming out. You know it's probably because I was being lazy too because the last time I got some ink on a purse I wiped it immediately and it came out so maybe I let this sit too long. I'm still wiping. I'm still <laughs> I'm still wiping. But I don't know. I probably have to it's just a small little thing. But I know it's there and now you know it's there. But it is not coming out. It didn't even get I can say it maybe got a little lighter maybe but next time I get um, any kind of mark on my purse I'm going to try to take care of it immediately okay well it is not coming out well like I said it's kind of like in the pebble in the grooves of the pebble so you can't really see it you actually can't see it unless you know it's there so Lesson learned. Has an awesome pocket in the back too. That fits quite a bit. So it's convenient. So it's convenient. Like I said, the size. The sturdiness. The snap closures. Gives you privacy, but quick access spacious inside pockets makes this a really good bag to have so I encourage you to check it out on I Love Dooney I don't know if Dooney.com has it I didn't check but I Love Dooney did have these bags and um, I would definitely encourage you to check it out and that, my friends, concludes this video. Peace, y'all.